this fireside chat um, with the media was something that we've seen is, is really important. The you know intention that we have to open these dialogues and bring in more stakeholders, I think this fireside chat for sure allowed us to, to do that. Now, these three days have really been about collaboration, but also, you know, taking significant strides towards real and measurable change. We looked at the PCV campaigns that you were able to develop last year, and now at a place where we're like, you know, what next? Once you start implementing those campaigns, how do you actually see whether there's any impact in the work that you're doing? Do you have the right stakeholders? Do you have a media strategy, a communication strategy? And at the end of it all, where did you land? And how can you continue to improve and learn from all the data that you're collecting? I started off by the workshop by thanking the government of Uganda. Um, I thanked the Brigadier General, Dominic Tresigomwe. His name was butchered <laughs> in the opening remarks, but he was such a good sport about it. Um, and, and also to you, Colonel Alex, because we know that when the brigadier takes a step, he does it with your advice and the advice of other colleagues who are working with you at NCTC. So we really thank you all collectively. We thank all the ministries, the departments and agencies that are here present. I also want to thank the civil society organizations in the room. Uh, Despina was here, she mobilized. Siska representatives from the different regions. Thank you so much for always attending and ensuring that the learnings that you take from here, you take all the way back to your communities uh, because that's where the conversations are being had. Yesterday, the resident coordinator said in a meeting that, you know, when problems start, they start in the communities, but when solutions are found also, it's in the communities that, um, you know, that these solutions will be found. We always have to thank our partners. We don't have so many in the room today, but the European Union has funded not only this workshop, but the entirety of the project. This engagement that we had with you was very specific on communication, strategic communications, media engagement, but there was a broader po project. And what this shows is that the EU and other partners like them are always committed to providing um, you know, vital support to Uganda and the people of Uganda. And so we keep en engaging with them. And then, you know, this workshop, I think, was really critical, as I said earlier, you know, just highlighting the importance of monetary evaluation and learning within our strategic communications uh, framework. I have to thank my team and the UNOCT team who have developed this robust curriculum. You know, they've really brought some evidence-based um, learning to us in these rooms. And we, we hope to, to continue learning from them. You know, the world changes. There's a lot of good practice that even we keep learning from. And so we look forward to continued engagement in that front. Now moving forward, UNOCT, we are poised to harness, um, you know, your collaboration and just ensuring that we, we support you in your interagency coordination efforts. We, we, we want to support um, the government initiatives, the community-led initiatives, and, and really all ensuring that whatever it is we're implementing is in line with the, the national mandate and ideas, which hopefully we will see when the national strategy on PCVET comes out the other end. We also committed to continue sharing with you some of our tools and our toolkits in other areas of work and so open to those conversations with you. The team from UN or UNCCT, Mr. Haida and Madam Saidon, Madam Sylvia Kabaki from UNOCT Nairobi, participants of this workshop. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I am Kano Alex Mshave, the Director of Policy and Plans National Counterterrorism Center, Uganda. Dear participants, today marks the end of our three days workshop 
for monitoring and evaluation for strategic communication campaigns. This workshop has been very engaging and I am happy everybody participated and I am very much encouraged once again to ensure that we did not uh, waste any single time but we used it as planned. So team, I thank you so much. Our monitoring and evaluation efforts have provided valuable insights into the effectiveness of our strategic communication campaigns. We have seen key successes such as increased awareness, changed perceptions and improved engagements. Therefore, these results demonstrate the input of our strategic communication efforts and inform our future campaigns. We therefore will continue to refine our approaches to optimize our communication strategies and campaigns. As we move forward, we will continue to build on the successes and apply lessons learned to enhance our strategic communication initiatives. As far as the project is concerned, so at this time, I want to thank the teams that were involved in the campaigns. Thank you so much. I know you have come from very far. And I want also to thank you for not forgetting. I know people forget. We developed these campaigns, but I'm very happy that when we came back here, it was as if it was fresh. So thank you so much. I recommend your efforts. Once again, I want also to uh, extend my sincere gratitude to you, the team, that committed a lot of time and resources to come here. I thank you so much, you team that came and facilitated this workshop. We have no words to express to how you have really spent time here. I know it takes a committed heart to come and have such a discussions and engagement with us, but I am very happy to have had this engagement with you. I therefore look forward to continue collaborating with you in future programs and especially of this nature relating to PCVE. <laughs> Moses Baluku. Joseph Niente.